Welcome back sports fans. Today we're going to explore the Adafruit 2-axis track uh, thumbstick and the <coughs> couple of analog to digital converters. They're the ADC 0804 analog digital converters. These are very simple devices. Okay, so this trackball is just two potentiometers. It's not a trackball, it's a thumbstick. A trackball is just two potentiometers, so it gives an analog signal here, which is converted to digital 8 bits. So we have two, two sets of 8 bit lines going into our Arduino Mega, which is connected to the PC, <coughs> and that communicates with a little GUI that you can see here. And we can see what the messages are. So C is center, and M is middle. One of those is horizontal and one of those is vertical. So if we move the stick now, it says, say, to the left, we get one left message. And we're back in the center, as it always springs back. Right message. So <clears throat> it only updates if something new happens. So if I'm holding it down, so I'm now holding it down, and it can, it'll stay there as long as something doesn't happen. Now it goes back to middle. All right, so we can see the little visualization works as expected. So what's interesting to note is that we don't get swamped in messages. So nothing's happening. The last message was a center. It stays that way. Now the last message is a left. Even that means we're holding it to the left. If I, if I was wondering what I'm doing, it's left. Up, oh, now it's back in the center. Up, oh, it's down. And now it's back in the middle. That's all for simulation and interpretation. Actually, it's not simulation. It's interpretation of a two-axis thumbstick or joystick, whatever you want to call it. The problem with this, obviously, is that it uses eight inputs to receive eight bits. That's fast, but uh, inefficient. I'd rather do it with SPI or I2C. Okay, I hope you liked it. And there, we leave you with this beautiful image of the joystick centered.